All right, guys. Today we have a '97 Acura Integra. Uh, this car overheat, and uh, what I did was I checked to see if it has antifreeze and if it has leaks. And uh, what I discovered was this fan right here doesn't come on. And uh, let me show you. If you have Integra '96, '97, any other year Integra or Honda Civics, it's a similar procedure. All right. If you go down here, a lot of the Honda Civic, they have a fan switch like right here, but this car has a fan switch right there, right? I disconnected that fan switch, and uh, I put the cotter pin inside. All that does is, once this car gets hot, that sensor right below that down there, which where this connector goes from, comes from, all it does is when it gets hot, it grounds these two cables and it sends a signal to engage the fan. So the relay comes on and this fan kicks in, all right? So let me show you uh, what I checked and then uh, after that, I'll show you exactly uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace this fan because I already have checked it, but I'm gonna show you why this fan is not working. And uh, let me get my tools, let me get my test light and I will show you everything. All right guys, as you can see, this fan is not working, all right? But this one is working. I can feel the wind blow here. All right. And uh, there you go. See, that fan is working, but this one is not working. So what I did was I put this uh, cable, the test light cable to the ground. And you're going to see this test light come on. I'm going to probe this wire right here. You see that? See that test light comes on? So this has positive power come into the fan what I'll do is I'll take this over to the battery I'm gonna put this end to the battery now on the positive something hard for me to hold all right I got that side on positive I'm sorry for the darkness now I'm gonna check the ground you see that it has ground so this fan motor has power and ground but the fan does not come on, right? So that's a complete signal. This fan motor has went bad. So we're gonna replace this fan motor. This car was overheating and uh, it's not cooling the radiator down. All right, so we're gonna replace that fan. All I did inside was put the key on so the engine is still off. And I jumped the cables at the sensor to give this a signal and just to make sure this does have power. So this does have power here, this connector right here. It has a power and ground, all right? That's a clear indication the motor is bad, all right, guys? So if you have a tank garage, just do that. Check that your car is overheating and see what's going on with it. All right, guys, so to remove this fan, you're gonna need a ratchet with the number 10 like that because all it has is number 10 here. We're gonna remove this little bracket here and we're gonna just, don't take off this bolt, take off this bolt and we can just turn this over probably these are not gonna come out because they're rusted even these I, I, I don't know how it's gonna be if this breaks no problem I could put a hex screw in there I could feel this is a little loose so maybe somebody tried to open this and it never came out these uh, they might come off because they're into the radiator but be careful you don't want to yank it too hard and you don't want to break the radiator and you can't even heat because it's here you know it's on the plastic so we're gonna start off by first we're gonna remove this connector right here, right? So all you do is, you push this tab in, and you remove the connector, right? There's a couple of wirings down there, you could just remove them as you come up, or get a needle nose and just clip them off a little bit, all right? So let me get a needle nose and we'll see if they clip off, all right? Cause you don't, we don't wanna yank it, there, there might be another connector down there, but usually what I do is, you can, uh, Move the fan to the side a little bit and then have access to it. All right, so let me go get a needle nose first. All right, guys, I'm back with my needle nose. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, uh, look at that, it came off its own. All I had to do was tap it a little bit. All right, next, what I'm gonna do is let me move my camera and I'm gonna come over this way so we can see better. All right, I'm gonna be working right here. So I'm gonna try to remove this bolt here first. Let's see if it comes off. Doesn't feel right. 
no problem. I let it break because I just want to get the job done. It's rusted, you know, it's not even number 10 anymore. Right, what I'll do is let me try to take off this one right here. Alright, <laughs> that's rusted too. That's not coming off. I don't want to break the lines. Alright, not having a good time so far with this. Alright, so let me try to take off the radiator. Fan number 10. Alright, this is good. Alright, they're old, you know, these bolts are old. See, this is stuck inside my ratchet now. So, we're gonna put this somewhere safe. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bolt on the opposite side. It's the same one here, but it's on the opposite side. It holds the fan down. In the bottom, this fan does not have any bolt. It just goes into like little slots. The fan has two legs down there. Again, there's one more connector down there that's probably attached to the sensor. Not part of the sensor, but it's just a routing of the cable. So here it is. This fan is loose, but this is bothering me right here. I'm gonna get a pro um, white grip and try to turn that out with the white grip. Let me go get a white grip. All right, guys. I really need to get this off so we can turn this over and we can have the access for the fan to come out. But this one is uh, no number, no longer number ten, and I don't want to try number nine on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to grip it with this wise because it's 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 loose it's moving but see that if you need to do that do that all right guys if you have this old car this is almost a like a 20 year old car all right there you go i'll put some grease on that when i put it back i'm gonna just leave this to the side now we can just take this and turn it over all right guys don't push this line, you don't want to yank it too much, but you can move it a little bit. Alright guys, let's look down there what we have. I know there's a connector down there. Let me get my light. There's a connector just down there. It's, uh, it's a cable attached to the fan. Let me see if I can get that off. I'll be right back guys because you know you're not going to be able to see it down there anyway. Alright guys, I took off that little connector and this fan is ready to come out. All you need to do is yank this little line a little bit and you can bring up the fan. Just don't damage the radiator, alright? Remove this ground too, I forgot. To make your life a little easier, just remove this ground, alright? Just don't hit the radiator either. You don't want to damage the radiator. So let me show you guys. This is the two number 10s we took off. This is a fan connector. There's one little piece connected here. This one somebody probably took off before us. And there's one over here, which I just squeezed and the whole connector came out. It just, it just a connector sits there, that which is, it's, it's like a routing for another wire. So there you go, down here, you have the little one leg down there that just goes right in a slot. So we're gonna wait for the new fan and we're gonna replace the new fan. All right guys, we got our new fan. Here's the fan, all right? And uh, the part number on this is, if you're buying a doorman, 620207, all right? And uh, we're gonna put this fan in. All right, so guys, like I said, if you need to remove this ground, I'll just remove it now. Let me put the camera down a little bit. I'm gonna remove this ground because it bothered me a little bit. All right, make sure you put that ground back. You don't want to forget that ground. After this, I'll put a cotter pin back into that fan switch back there and we'll see if both fans come on. Let me remove that leaf out of there. All right, guys. So it has one leg which is gonna sit all the way in the bottom. So we're gonna slowly push this back a little bit. You don't wanna yank this AC cable, AC uh, line. All right, and don't hurt the radiator. You don't wanna hurt the radiator because 
that will be a bigger problem if you do that. All right. Now I'm gonna try to sit this fan in the bottom, hold it in the below, all right? So I'm gonna put my light here for a moment. All you need to do is make that little arm down there, the leg, just let it sit where it belongs, all right? Just like that. All right, once we have that, so we're gonna lift up this fan, we're gonna align everything, and give me a moment, I just wanna double check the fan, the old one, I'll be back. All right guys, I'll pull the fan back out. I just wanna show you one thing. Uh, this little piece here, you see how skinny this is? And this is fat, see the difference? It doesn't sit there down there properly, so I'm gonna just swap these two, all right? That was uh, not a good idea. All right, so give me a moment, I'll be back. I'm gonna get that off and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna swap it, put it onto this fan. All right guys, so I swapped that off the old fan. Now we can reinsert the fan. Again, just push this back a little bit. AC line and be careful with the radiator. All right, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get that fan in there like before I had, and we'll continue after that. All right, guys, this job is almost complete. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna line these two bolts, and I'm gonna put the two bolts in. Just make sure when you're pushing this, like I'm doing this, it does not hit the radiator in any way. All right, so you don't wanna. These fans are not like perfect. All right. Couple of threads on this one and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one and don't forget to put your connector in All right, so I'm gonna put a tie or something on this because I'm not having any snuck with this fan redo this fan another day because it's not perfect this fan I gotta get it from online maybe because some of these parts stores their fans are not perfect all right so but I do want to complete this video and the job so we're gonna put this all right make sure you put that connector in and the other connector I'll line in a little bit don't leave them hanging because they might get caught in the fan all right then we have the number 10 that goes here. Oh no, this does not go here, right? That goes to that number 10 there. This is for the ground here. Make sure you put this ground back Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I have this little bowl. Alright, let me just take this waist off and I'll put it back on. There you go. We're almost done. After this, we can test it. There's two ways to test it. You can let the car run, which I'm gonna do that later on. That's the proper way. Let the car run for a while. And the fan should come on it on its own. What I like to do is I like to spin the fan before I end up the job, before we make the fan run by the computer or the sensor, because you don't want the fins hitting onto the radiator and just double check this fan itself is not hitting the radiator in any way so this one is good we got the connector in so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go get a cotter pin and I'm gonna back probe that thing again just like before alright I'll be back alright guys 
we're back and I just want to show you guys there you go we got the fan running and the fan running all right both these fans are running as you can see all right and all I did was put the key on and I jumped that sensor again all right and as if I disconnect this the bolt will shut down right both of the fans and use a cotter pin like this just to test it all right and we're done thank you for watching guys subscribe if you need any other help if your car is overheating doesn't have to be this car it could be any other car and check it with the ac on ac off check the antifreeze check the cap this is very important to check this cap and that's it thank you for watching subscribe and bye bye